Today I will explain what are the indications of using ambu bag or self-inflating bag and how to use it. Firstly, we use it in neonatal resuscitation immediately after birth if the baby is in apnea or gasping or heart rate is less than 100 per minute. Also, if you find any patient who is in apnea or gasping or in impending respiratory failure, then also you have to use the self-inflating bag according to the size of the patient to give positive pressure ventilation. If you are planning to electively intubate a patient, then also you need to keep it handy. Now, let us see how to use it. Now, I will demonstrate it on this mannequin. Standing on the head end of the patient, extend the neck of the patient slightly. The basic concept of using bag and mask ventilation correctly is the seal around mouth and nose should be leak proof. We can do this by using C and E technique. Using our left hand with these two fingers, we make a C which you keep over the mask and make an appropriate seal around the nose and mouth of the patient. Like this. Remember that the mask should not press the eyes or exceed the chin. With these three fingers, we make the E. Here, look, I am making the E. With E, you keep around the angle of the mandible and it helps to keep the mask tight. And also, you can use it to tilt the head backward in a head tilt chin lift maneuver or you can displace the jaw forward to do a jaw thirst if indicated to open the airway. Utilizing the sniffing position with the ear and sternal notch aligned in the same plane optimizes conditions for the airflow. I am taking care that the mask should not exceed the chin or compress the eyes. Count 1 and 2 and 3 and press. 1 and 2 and 3 and press. 1 and 2 and 3 and press. In neonatal resuscitation, the increase in the heart rate, especially within the first 15 seconds or rise in the chest during ventilation ensures that your ventilation technique is correct. Otherwise, we have to take ventilation corrective measures. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.